Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm James and I have just recently finished the build of my Stingray 120, my Balsa USA Stingray 120. And what I want to do now is check the, the weight of the airplane, see what it came out at, and also check the wing loading. Now, if you look at the box specs, it has the weight as eight and a half to nine pounds. But if you go to the website, as I recall, it's up to 10 and a half pounds. So the website has it a little bit heavier. It's probably because they added the use of the DLE 20 engine. That's not the DLE 20, that's a four stroke. But by adding the DLE 20, um, 20 CC engine to this plane, you're gonna increase the weight a little bit because you have the ignition module and the extra battery and that kind of thing. So it's probably why when you go to the website, it's a higher weight. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it right, take it outside. And I see you sitting outside right now. I'm gonna go weigh it and we'll see where it came in at. Okay, well it's getting a little dark out here, but let's go ahead and do it. So I have my, I have a hand scale here, weight scale. And then I have a couple strings going down to the fuselage and I'm using some of this insulation foam so I don't damage the fuselage itself as I pull it up. In fact, I gotta pull this one forward a little bit. Hold on a second. All right, so let's go ahead and pull it up. Here we go. And it is, 10.3, 10.4, I'll call it 10.4. It looks like it's kind of bouncing around a bit because I'm, I'm moving. I'm actually happy with that because I know I did some modifications. You know, I added the canopy, um, I added a different landing gear and this and that, I forget what else, but pretty much I added, I added a few things to it. So it still came under the actual high limit of the weight. So I'm happy there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and check the wing loading just for fun. So wing loading, I'll just use WL, is the weight of the airplane expressed in ounces, the weight of the airplane divided by the area of the wing, usually expressed in square feet, okay? So the weight of the airplane that I just measured was 10.5 four pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that to ounces. So we're going to multiply that by 16 ounces per pound. And that equals, I already did the math on this, uh, equals 166.4 um, ounces. And then I have to convert my, my wing area, which again here is 1,276 uh, inches squared. And we're just gonna divide that by, well, well, what we'll do here is we'll go 144 inches squared, and that's equal to one foot squared. And so now it's gonna go ahead and do the, do the math on this, and that comes out to be, uh, that equals 8.8 .8 feet squared. So you just basically divide our 1276 by our 144, and that will convert us to our foot squared. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and divide now the weight, which is gonna be, let's see here, it's 166.4 ounces divided by 8.8 .8 feet square. And again, I already did the math, and that comes out to 18.78 ounces foot square for our wing loading. Okay. So let's talk about wing loading real quick. Let's go ahead, I'm kind of running out of room. But some general numbers for wing loading, I have them written down here, is so for basically like a, let's just say like a glider or a sailplane, um, glider is about uh, 10 ounces per foot squared. Again, these are rough numbers. And then for a trainer, it's about uh, 15 ounces per foot squared. For a sport, sport plane, it's around 20. Don't worry about that. And then for something like a scale, like World War II fighter or something like that, or something, you know, like a, a not a sport plane, but something that's, 
you know, like, like I said, a World War II warbird or something like that. We're talking, we'll just call it a warbird for fun. Hope it's put scale here. You are about 25 um, ounces per, um, oops, per foot squared. Okay, and then so our number, like I said, came in at 18.78 here. And that puts us right in between a trainer and a sport, which I'm really happy with because this plane is basically that. It's basically a sport plane and came in really, really good with those with the numbers here for the wing loading. All right, and just a quick word about wing loading. Wing loading is just sort of the way I look at it, and I'm no expert. The way I look at it, the wing loading is just sort of a way of, it's just a number for looking at a plane to kind of get a feel for how that plane is gonna fly and how that plane is going to behave. So obviously, the, you, you have something like a glider, which has a pretty large wing area for its weight. So that wing loading is very low. So that plane's gonna fly slow, it's gonna be gliding, doing all that, right? The opposite side of the spectrum, the opposite end of the spectrum, is you have a plane which has a really small wing area. And again, something like your um, World War II, like your Warbirds, think about a jet, things like this. They have a pretty small wing area compared to their weight, and they're gonna have to fly very, very fast in order to achieve that lift on that smaller wing with that higher weight. They're designed, and this is the way they're designed, obviously, they're gonna to have to fly super fast in order to get that lift. And um, that's, that, so it's gonna tell you, so that tells you right there, a plane that has a very low wing loading is gonna be something that sort of floats around and is really kind of you know, easy to fly, if you, if you will. Whereas something with a really high load, wing loading is gonna be something that's zipping around in the sky. So those are the two sort of ends of the spectrum. And then in between that, we have our trainer and then we have our sport planes. So the trainer is obviously gonna be a little bit more than a glider, but a trainer you expect it to be something that you can actually handle because it is just a trainer. So it has a relatively lower wing loading, which you know gives you time to think, you know, when you're flying, it's a nice, you know, so, and then of course the sport is in between your trainer and then something like your scale planes where you're kind of zipping around the sky, but you're not going too crazy with it. So it's just, you know, you're doing aerobatics and things like that. That's my sort of uh, dumb guy explanation for wing loading. And I'm sure there's got a lot of you guys out there, um, um, guys and gals out there who know more about it than I do and will have something to say about it, but that's just the way I look at it and hopefully that's helpful. All right, well, that's it for the weight of the airplane and the wing loading. I hope that was a little bit interesting or maybe a little useful for you, not sure, but I like to do that, it's kind of fun. So I gotta go grab my airplane, it's sitting outside in the dark, but you know, stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing the maiden flight on this plane soon. And like always, I really appreciate you watching my channel and we'll see you next time.